Hello, I'm Natalie Morris. I'm a registered nurse here to help you learn about a leading edge solution from the FlexiSeal FMS family of fecal management systems known as FlexiSeal Signal FMS. As you may already know due to your experience with FlexiSeal FMS, FlexiSeal Signal FMS is a temporary containment device indicated for the fecal management of patients with little or no bile control and liquid or semi-liquid stool. This system was designed to safely and effectively reduce the risk of skin breakdown and the spread of infection, as well as improve patient comfort. It also helps prevent fecal contamination of wounds. It is for single patient use and disposable as outlined in your facility protocol. The design minimizes the exposure to infectious waste materials such as diarrhea, which may contain pathogens such as C. difficile and helps prevent cross-contamination. The management of fecal incontinence, a risk factor in the development of pressure ulcers and the transmission of nosocomial infections, is a priority in acute and critical care hospital settings. In a clinical study of 42 critical and acute care patients using FlexiSeal FMS, 92% of patients had their skin condition maintained or improved. Understanding how FlexiSeal Signal FMS works and how to properly use it will enable you to maximize all the benefits this system has to offer while providing safe, effective patient care. FlexiSeal Signal FMS Kit consists of a silicone catheter, a soft and flexible silicone retention balloon, a specially labeled syringe for 45 ml, and three charcoal filter collection bags. It comes in a recyclable, compact clamshell case that allows for easy storage. FlexiSeal Signal FMS is also entirely latex and PVC, also known as polyvinyl chloride, free. There have been many enhancements made to the FlexiSeal Signal Fecal Management System. They include the unique signal indicator, the label site for clinician notes, the blue finger pocket, the versatile beaded strap, the increased irrigation lumen size, and the addition of filtered collection bags to kits. We'll discuss each of these improvements and the benefits they provide throughout the course of this video. At one end of the device, the soft silicone catheter has a retention balloon that is inserted into the rectum using an easily identifiable blue finger pocket. At the opposite end, the catheter has a connector for attaching the collection bag. The catheter diverts fecal waste away from the patient and facilitates the flow of stool into the collection bag. Two ports are attached to the silicone catheter. The white inflation port with 45 ml printed on it is used to inflate the retention balloon with water or saline after the device has been inserted into the patient's rectum. It is called the white inflation port. Note the dimple or crater on the top of the inflation port. This is the fill or signal indicator. The signal indicator pops to assist clinicians in determining when the retention balloon is filled to the appropriate volume up to a maximum of 45 ml. Clinical observation has shown that proper inflation of the balloon minimizes the risk of leakage. The signal indicator could pop before 45 ml if the space available for the balloon is smaller than the balloon. Filling should stop when the indicator pops out and stays out. Never add more than 45 ml total. Not all patients will require inflation of the balloon maximum of 45 ml. The other port, colored blue, with the letters IRRIG printed on it can be used to flush the catheter if it becomes blocked with solid particles. It is called the blue irrigation port. The irrigation lumen size of FlexiSeal Signal FMS has been increased to facilitate irrigation. The soft, flexible, low-pressure balloon is designed to help reduce the risk of tissue necrosis. Once inserted and inflated to the optimal volume as shown by the signal indicator, the retention balloon conforms above the sphincter anatomy on the rectal shelf 
to create an effective seal to minimize leakage and to safely divert and contain stool. Once in place, the drainage tube collapses to an 8 mm diameter, minimizing the impact on sphincter tone. FlexiSeal Signal FMS is a leading edge solution that requires minimal pressure to inflate the retention balloon. The soft, flexible retention balloon conforms to sphincter anatomy and is designed to minimize the chance of tissue necrosis. Therefore, the balloon does not require periodic deflation and reinflation, which helps save nursing time. In a clinical study in which patients used FlexiSeal FMS for up to 29 days, rectal mucosa was shown to be healthy at baseline and at end follow-up endoscopy. The soft, flexible silicone catheter provides an effective diversion of stool away from the patient to minimize the risk of skin breakdown and spread of infection. The disposable collection bag with an integrated cap and non-return valve further helps to minimize the risk of contamination with infective fecal materials, provides effective odor control, and completes this closed system. In 2008, Convitec conducted an in vitro study to investigate C. difficile containment properties of FlexiSeal FMS. The study found there was no evidence of transmission of C. difficile through the FlexiSeal device over the 31-day study period nor was spore contamination detected in the vicinity of the four devices tested, as monitored by environmental settle plates and air counting techniques. As part of the Targeting Zero initiatives to eradicate C. difficile, APIC published the Guide to the Elimination of C. difficile in Healthcare Settings in November 2008. The guide acknowledges that use of a fecal management system that serves to minimize environmental and hand contamination may have a role in preventing transmission of C. difficile in healthcare settings. FlexiSeal Signal FMS is entirely latex and PVC free. In contrast, collection bags made of PVC have been shown to be an inferior material to block odor gas transmission. Let's review the steps involved in using FlexiSeal Signal FMS please refer to the product package insert for full instructions for use. First, we will discuss what needs to be done before inserting the device. Next, we will cover how to insert the device. Then we will talk about how to ensure its proper functioning. And finally, we will review how to remove the device. In addition to the device kit, you will need gloves, lubricating jelly, saline or tap water, and an incontinence pad. When removing the device from its packaging, check to see if there is any residual air in the balloon. If so, remove it by attaching the syringe provided to the inflation port and withdrawing the plunger. Prior to filling with water or saline, ensure that the syringe is empty by expelling any air. Next, Fill the syringe with 45 ml of tap water or saline and attach it to the white inflation port. Do not overfill beyond 45 ml. Securely snap the collection bag to the connector at the end of the catheter. Place patient in the left sideline position with the hips flexed. This position best aids in performing a digital rectal assessment. If this is not possible, you may determine an alternative position enabling access to the rectum. You should perform a digital rectal assessment to assess for the presence of fecal impaction and rectal sphincter tone. A good sphincter tone is desired to keep the retention balloon inserted and minimize leakage. If sphincter tone is absent, the device may still be inserted, but the patient may experience leakage around the device. Also be sure to remove any indwelling or anal device prior to insertion of the FlexiSeal Signal FMS device. If fecal impaction is felt, do not insert the device and alert the ordering healthcare professional of your findings. Unfold the length of the catheter to lie flat on the bed. Extend the collection bag connector towards the foot of the bed alongside of the patient. The soft, low-pressure balloon is designed to reduce the risk of tissue necrosis. 
Once inserted and inflated, the retention balloon retains the device inside the patient. It conforms to the sphincter anatomy to create an effective seal to minimize leakage and to safely divert and contain stool. In place, the drainage tube collapses to an 8 mm diameter, minimizing the impact on sphincter tone. The retention balloon has a blue finger pocket that is easy to locate and designed for simple finger insertion. This is a unique feature, available only on FlexiSeal Signal FMS devices. It is designed to guide easy insertion and confirm proper device placement for the caregiver and helps ensure patient comfort using a one-finger insertion technique. You can locate the finger pocket by moving your finger along the irrigation line starting from the blue irrigation port up to the balloon. The finger pocket is located above the position indicator line. To make it easier to insert and remove your finger from the finger pocket, you should first coat your gloved insertion finger with a lubricating jelly. Then insert your gloved insertion finger into the pocket. Also roll the balloon end of the catheter in lubricating jelly so that it is well coated and then smooth the jelly evenly for ease of insertion. Using the finger in the pocket of the balloon, gently insert the balloon through the anal sphincter until the balloon is beyond the external orifice and well inside the rectal vault. Inflate the balloon with up to a maximum of 45 ml of tap water or saline by slowly depressing the syringe plunger. Under no circumstances should the balloon be inflated with more than 45 ml. While depressing the syringe, take note of the signal indicator previously discussed. Once the retention balloon has reached the optimal fill level, or 45 ml has been injected, the signal indicator will pop. The signal indicator will remain popped while the balloon is at its optimal level. Once the signal indicator pops, stop filling the retention balloon and detach the syringe from the inflation port. If the signal indicator pops or expands significantly at less than 30 ml, withdraw the liquid and reposition the balloon in the rectal vault. After repositioning, fill the balloon as described. If the signal indicator does not pop, the balloon is underfilled. Use the syringe to withdraw fluid from the retention balloon and re-inject until the indicator pops or 45 ml has been injected. Should the signal indicator deflate or appear excessively inflated after proper inflation, this is an indication that the retention balloon is no longer at the optimal fill level. In this case, use the syringe to withdraw the fluid from the retention balloon and re-inject until the signal indicator pops or 45 ml has been injected. Next, remove the syringe from the white inflation port and gently tug on the catheter to ensure that the balloon is properly positioned against the rectal floor. This will also ensure that the stool will flow into the catheter instead of around it. Then position the length of the flexible silicone catheter along the patient's leg, avoiding kinks and obstruction. If the patient's condition allows, reposition the patient on his back and position the catheter between the legs, ensuring the patient is not lying on the catheter so there is no compression or twisting. Alternative positions should be at the clinician's discretion depending on patient need. Hang the bag by the plastic beaded strap on the bedside at a position lower than that of the patient's rectum to aid in stool flow. Take note of the position indicator line relative to the patient's anus. You should observe changes in the location of the position indicator line as a means to determine movement of the retention balloon in the patient's rectum. This may indicate the need for the balloon or device to be repositioned. The catheter's large 22 mm diameter is designed for free flow of stool and is capable of collapsing to a very small 8 mm diameter. This ability of the soft, flexible silicone catheter to collapse to an 8 mm diameter helps to prevent prolonged dilation of the sphincter, helping minimize the risk of loss of sphincter tone. A small amount of seepage is therefore expected. If more than a small amount of leakage occurs, this is likely a sign that the retention balloon should be repositioned.
since small amounts of moisture or seepage around the catheter can be anticipated, we recommend using an incontinence pad at all times. Patients with very weak sphincter muscles may not be able to hold the device in place and may experience increased leakage of stool. If the silicone catheter becomes blocked with solid particles, it can be rinsed by filling the syringe with room temperature tap water, attaching the syringe to the blue irrigation port and depressing the plunger. Ensure the syringe is not inadvertently attached to the white balloon inflation port marked 45 ml. Irrigation amounts may vary depending on the amount of solid particles. If the patient's condition allows, place the patient in the left line side position with the hips flexed to facilitate solid particle flow into the catheter during the irrigation process. You should repeat the procedure as often as necessary to maintain proper functioning of the device. Flushing the device as described is an optional procedure for use only when needed to maintain the unobstructed flow of stool into the collection bag. Periodically, you may want to gently milk the catheter to facilitate the flow. FlexiSeal Signal FMS is a simple and closed system. All parts are disposable and designed for single patient use. The closed end collection bag helps prevent the spread of infection, such as C. difficile. The collection bags have a charcoal filter and are designed to contain and lock in odor, similar to the material construction of the Convitec Ostomy care pouches. FlexiSeal Signal FMS also has an elbow bag connector for easy operation. The connector includes a hook that interfaces with the collection bag, adding an additional layer of security. Before changing the collection bag, put on non-sterile gloves. To begin the bag changing process, rest the elbow bag connector on its side on a protective incontinence pad. Also make sure you have a replacement collection bag within close reach. Carefully unsnap the soiled pouch and securely snap the cap to the pouch to contain the stool. Snap the clean pouch to the elbow bag connector and position the unit to the location where gravity drainage has worked the best. There are three charcoal filter collection bags in each kit, and additional bags can be ordered separately as needed. Snap the cap onto each used bag and discard according to institutional protocol for disposal of medical waste. Observe the device regularly for obstructions from kinks, solid fecal particles, or external pressure. To remove the catheter from the rectum, reposition the patient in a left side line position with hips flexed and deflate the retention balloon by attaching the syringe to the white inflation port and slowly withdraw all water from the balloon. Remember, the soft, flexible catheter is capable of collapsing to a very small 8 mm diameter. This ability to collapse to an 8 mm diameter helps ensure patient comfort during removal and helps to prevent prolonged dilation of the sphincter, helping minimize the risk of loss of sphincter tone. Disconnect the syringe and discard according to your facility protocol. Hold the catheter as close to the patient as possible and slowly slide it out of the anus. Dispose of the device in accordance with your institutional protocol for disposal of medical waste. Thank you for joining me for the introduction to the FlexiSeal Signal Fecal Management System. This system is appropriate for patients with little or no bowel control and liquid or semi-liquid stool. When the stool begins to become solid, the device should be discontinued. FlexiSeal Signal FMS can be used up to 29 consecutive days. I hope you found this session helpful in learning how to use FlexiSeal Signal FMS. FlexiSeal Signal FMS system is entirely latex and PVC free. The kit also comes in a recyclable, reclosable clamshell pack that allows for easy storage. The kit has different colored ports that make identification easy and a precisely labeled syringe to reduce the risk of overinflation. 
Every detail was designed to make our products safe and user-friendly to assist you in improving outcomes for your patients with fecal incontinence. If you have any further questions, please call Convitec at 1-800-422-8811 or contact your local Convitec representative.